multimedia, wellness and health, events, reviews, and This more. is Mary Collins from Life Hacks Media on Radio X, and I have the pleasure to have back online with me, Helen Rudinsky, our expat counselor in Switzerland. How are you, Helen? Fine. It's such a Thank pleasure, you. although Thank we are, you. yeah, although we are now working from, um, from home. <laughs> home on, on. So, um, well, let, today we are, we're dealing with this COVID-19 situation, and although it may look like things are changing, the rules are changing because of numbers, we are also aware of that those numbers can vary, they can become variable, and, and one minute we can be doing really well, and the next minute we can go right back into lockdown. So I want to really discuss how we should be dealing with our family or ourselves, our own mentality um, during lockdown. So right. what would you like to start us off with today? Well, I think one of the keys with families that have children at home, this has been a, a new experience for all of us. And um, I know most kids are getting online teaching and that helps and, and hopefully they're keeping up with their studies. And the people I've talked to are very happy with how teachers have worked. Mm -hmm. So um, although they are saying that maybe when kids get back, there might be some catch up that has to be done. Right. So we'll see. But what many parents have uh, brought to the forefront, and this is something I'm struggling with too, is so much time on the internet, especially yes. with boys, video games and so on. And for a lot of children, maybe more so boys and girls, the online games are created so that you don't want to stop. Right. Kind of like some of the slot machines. You mm -hmm. just think another quarter and I'm going to make the jackpot. Mm -hmm. So there is an addictive component in these games, just like there's an addictive component with potato chips. Right. You know, you yeah, keep wanting crunch. to eat one. Where that, that, that isn't the case with broccoli. You usually mm -hmm. eat a little broccoli and there's, you're, you're fi finished. Mm -hmm. So we are dealing with some addictive uh, entities, so to speak. Mm -hmm. So I don't want parents to be killing themselves mm -hmm. when they can't compete. Now, there are um, activities that if your child is interested, I would encourage you. I know there's online dancing right now. Um, I know of an online theater class, piano okay. lessons, even some sports teams are trying to do things online. Interesting. Yeah, they have a sport protocol <laughs> and maybe they meet Zoom with Zoom and connect with the other players. So people are really trying and try to seek out those opportunities. I. You know, every region has different things. Sometimes this is headed up by an individual, like the sports teams. But there are, so really, there are opportunities. So really search out those opportunities in okay. your area. Um, I know some church youth groups are meeting. I know other teen groups are meeting. So try to find out. But I don't want parents, you know, beating themselves over the head. Because really, a lot of these things just don't, they just not not as interesting and they don't compete with right. the online games. Right. And that's just the nature of the beast. Mm -hmm. um, now, there's also some blockers out there you can get. Mm -hmm. And um, these would be done and found at the Media Mart or online with Amazon. But mm -hmm. they have where you can block YouTube. You can block um of course, for teens, they have all kind of adult material blocked. That's a mm -hmm. given. Mm -hmm. But you can block various sites, Facebook um, and different things. The mm -hmm. problem, and I did that, or they have the child, they have a, a, an hourly uh, quota, like you say, two hours, and then it shuts off. Oh, the that's problem, awesome. Yeah. So I would encourage parents to look at their local um you know, Media Mart type stores to find mm -hmm. those. They run around a hundred dollars, and you plug them in, uh, you know, next to the router and so on. Okay. So what are they called? But they're just. Um, I can I can get you that. Mine was okay, I think the Disney one. It was called Circle Plus. Okay. But there's several. There's several, and they're just media blockers. Uh, yeah, media blockers, uh, internet blockers, and they also keep out. Um, you know, a lot of schools have been using these for the years. They also keep out adult material, mm -hmm. uh, pornographic material, all that stuff you don't want mm -hmm. coming into your house. Now, the problem I found is I had to, 
so I was very happy to get rid of YouTube, but mm -hmm. I had to, and I blocked it, but I had to unblock it because so much of the online teaching is done mm -hmm. through YouTube. Right. And it, it, my, my blocker was not sophisticated enough to discriminate that from these hours we'll have YouTube from these hours we won't, but, mm -hmm. but these are, these are a start. Um, so those are the two options. Find the activities that are taking place mm -hmm. through Zoom and, and other um, media platforms, and then see if you can block. And then maybe the third thing would be maybe giving some rewards. Right. You read for two hours and you get another hour of internet or a, a cupcake or whatever. But that's what the school does a lot. They mm -hmm. use in, in, you know, even the little the little ones in preschool, they get a sticker, they get a happy face. Right, right. Um, but but don't beat yourself up. This mm -hmm. too will end. And um, it's not easy on everybody. Maybe try to have on anybody, try to have um, game night. Some families are successful puzzles, bringing out the old Monopoly game you haven't used in um, in years, yeah. watching movies together. Try to use this time because a lot of people are saying it's wonderful. You know, right. we've got to know our kids. Right. Um, but don't beat yourself over right. your head with the, the so, computer because you're just up against a, a giant. Yeah. So do you think some sort of scheduling at least where you're like, do this at least by a certain time of the day? Yeah. You know, Try have to have this structure. Done. Mm -hmm. um, I know a lot of schools, their teachers are meeting from like nine to noon. They have to, um, you know, they have to mark their attendance for that day. Yeah, try to do that. And then throughout the day, if there's other groups, try to go, um, depending on where you are. I know some people can go for walks, other people, uh, it's, it's difficult. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, maybe if you can get out on the balcony or the front sto steps of your house, try to get some fresh air and away yes. from the screen. Screen mm -hmm. time is, is not healthy. Mm -hmm. um, but at the same time, just I just don't want people to beat themselves up. Okay, fair enough. And at least now we should at least put in line preparation that if this turns into a second wave or longer, that okay, we've given them a lot of TV time or video time at the minute. However, set a schedule for the future of like, if this happens again in a more serious way, like with stricter lockdown rules, we're going to, in advance, I'm going to find out what the kids like to do and figure a way to say, okay, look, we can't go outside and play soccer, but we can have a little mini softball game of it in the house. Yeah. So buy yeah. that sort of stuff now while you can on Amazon, have it ready and in storage so that if this happens for a second wave or whatever, um, you have that softball, you have the games, like you said, good old fashioned board games, because if they're going, they're competitive, children are competitive, right? And they're, they like to learn. So rep repetition is important to them. That's why the video games hook them so well. However, it's still far healthier for them to move their arm to move a monopoly piece or a, a game board piece than it is to sit and press buttons all day, which could potentially lead to some sort of arthritis you know yeah I mean, this is what's scaring me the, or the, bad posture hunched right. over you know people right. are saying that the posture of people have really gotten worse over the 10 20 years because we're mm -hmm. you know we didn't used to be hunched over things exactly and this is the so what do you say about how do how do you deal with parents who have different takes on this? Because if one parent's very easygoing and says, come on, leave them alone, this is a hard time for them, let them do what they want to relieve their stress. And then there's the anally retentive person like me that's like, no, they could be inventing rocket science while on a break or, you know, building a birdhouse or doing something yeah. like school. How well, does one deal is with that? Yeah, well, this is a long-term problem because if you have different takes on that, you're going to have different takes on other things. Mm -hmm. And actually, your idea of putting together a schedule is a good idea, even if, hopefully, mm -hmm. um, we never have a lockdown again, but mm -hmm. we still have Christmas vacation, spring vacation, summer vacation. Right. So ideally, the parents want to sit down on their own and come up with a game plan so they're not making it up as they go. Right. Okay. So that's the thing. Come together. Yeah, because make this, a game is, plan. this is a long term issue. And basically, if they have conflicts in this area, they have probably conflicts in other areas that are overlapping, like right. how much homework and so on. But the more structure you can put in place, the better. And then, um, like I said, 
uh, it can be used for summer vacation and all the other vacations. Right. Because even if we go back to a normal life, we mm -hmm. still have those times where the kids aren't in school. Right, and they're and they're getting more and more addicted to stuff that's not in any way benefiting benefiting their their lives. Yeah. So also they can talk to you online. I mean, parents and teenagers. I'm and... doing issues by sessions by Skype now. Okay, people are finding it nice. They don't have to leave their home. They don't have to worry about babysitting or traveling mm -hmm. uh, to an office. Mm -hmm. So yes. So. People that are listening and also that get the opportunity to watch our Life Hacks Media video, which will be on our Facebook and our website, be aware that Helen Rudinsky is available for you to rant to if you need to on an online um, counseling session through expatcounselingswitzerland.com. Yes. So, you know, look out for her and she'll also be able to post some of our stuff on Life Hacks Media. So keep an eye out for that and just hold it, you know, hang in there. This will hopefully be temporary, and no matter what, you can get some great life lessons or life hacks from learning how to schedule in healthy, productive projects for yourself, for the teenagers, for the whole family. Thank you, Helen. It's been a pleasure. Nice talking to you again, Mary. Are you ready for life-saving and life-changing hacks? What is this? 20 minutes of the best top expert tips and hacks to make your life better. Life hacks. Life hacks. Technology, business, multimedia, wellness and health, events, reviews, and more. Life hacks. Life hacks. Every Sunday at 7 p.m. Lifehacks.com. Life hacks. That's with a K and an X on Radio X.